Hi, I'm Randy Barnett, electrical instructor here at American Train Co. Today I'm going to show you how to check out a pair of rubber gloves. We're going to do just one glove. It's required that you check your voltage rated gloves and make sure that they're safe to use each day before use. These gloves are important to me. In a few minutes I'm going to open up a 200 amp disconnect switch. That's my life. If there's anything wrong with these gloves, that could be bad news for me. So it's serious business. First I'll check the glove for my left hand. I also am required to check my leather protector, which I'm also required to wear. So let's start with the leather protector. The leather protector, this is not my leather work glove. This glove is specific, uh, specifically designed and sized for this particular rubber glove. I make sure that there's no dirt, grease, uh, holes, uh, wear, areas of excessive wear, no metal filings embedded in the glove. Rubber glove, I always like to start on the inside first. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this glove on my left hand, turn it inside out, trap a little air in it to blow the fingers out, and now I'll look at the inside of the glove. Once again, I'm looking for any uh, check marks, meaning a deterioration of this natural rubber. I'm looking for any uh, holes, any physical damage at all, any chemical abrasions, any discoloration. I look especially in the areas that are, I would expect to find damage, meaning in the palm of the hand, towards the thumb, the fingertips, in between the fingers. The glove looks good on the inside. Now I turn it outside. Put the glove back on the correct hand. If the glove is greasy or dirty, I can wash it. Follow manufacturer's instructions. I can either purchase a, a soap to wash voltage rated rubber goods or sometimes I'm allowed to use a mild soap and water solution. Once again, looking for any physical damage to the glove. <clears throat> no discoloration, no abrasions, no check marks, no apparent holes, no embedded metal filings, no grease. The glove appears to be in good condition. I look at the tag on the glove. It's a red tag, which tells me that this glove is rated for 1,000 volts, but it's also marked clearly on the tag, class zero, uh, 1,000 volts AC. The glove is also be re uh, required to be tested within the last six months, and this glove uh, meets that requirement uh, quite adequately. It's been tested very recently. This is a size nine glove, and uh, the way that you determine your glove size is, you wrap a soft cloth tape around your hand, whatever the number comes out to be, that's your glove size, mine's a size nine. So this glove appears to be in good shape, and uh, so far the last thing I want to check is, is to make sure that it does not leak any air, because if it leaks air, it leaks electricity, and that's important to me. So I'll go ahead and I'll trap some air inside of the glove, if I had a glove inflator, that would be convenient, but we normally don't carry those in the field. So I'll go ahead, trap some air on the inside of it, and now listen for any air leaks. No apparent leaks. This glove is in good condition and ready to use.